Hello everyone. In this video, Windmill Software will demonstrate how to create risks, issues, and change requests in Clarity PPM. Risks, issues, and change requests are managed separately, but have almost all of the same functional properties. This video will show how to create risks on projects and view resulting dashboards and reports. First, let's look at how to create risks on a project. Here's a list of risks on my project. Like other pages, I'm able to see some key areas of information in the list, like category, priority, probability, and impact, and status. I can also configure additional columns to this view. The checked box in the conversation column lets me know I have a chat open in the risk. I can click the details flyout to view it. Here, project managers and team members have a chat area built into the risk where they can discuss any progress and blockers to resolution. On the Details tab, I can view the summary information of the risk. I can also configure additional fields to this view. For example, I'll add the Include and Status Reporting checkbox. To add a new risk, I can click on the plus icon and fill out the fields in the list or in the Details flyout. Risks will show up in a number of dashboards and reports to keep track of on a single project and throughout the organization. Now let's look at the project issues. My issues list shares the same functionality as risks. I can configure additional columns to the view, create new issues, and save views for other users to utilize. Issues also show up in a number of reports and dashboards throughout the application. Next, let's look at the change requests. Like issues, change requests share much of the same functionality as risks. Clarity does have a workflow engine that enables the progression of a risk to an issue and ultimately to a change request. Change requests can also have an approval process in Clarity. Now let's look at the risk, issue, and change request dashboard. This dashboard shows all the risks in my organization. I can sort the list by priority to view the highest priority risks first. I can switch the dashboard to focus on all the issues in the organization. I can also switch the view to focus on all the change requests. On each of these dashboards, I can email the owner of the risk, issue, or change request to get an update on the current status. Now let's finish up looking at a sample of reports using risks, issues, and change requests. The top 50 project watch list shows the overall risk score, a breakdown of issues and change requests by priority, and a project by project indicator view. This report can be ran across all projects, by department, by location, and many other breakdowns. The project storyboard is an essential status report for project managers. Along with a lot of other great information, it shows issues and risks by priority and provides a detailed list of each. In this video, we have shown how to create risks, issues, and change requests in Clarity PPM, and we looked at some of the dashboards and reports where they're used. You can find more videos demonstrating how to perform other functionalities of Clarity PPM on our website.